everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, last episode we ambushed that convoy, got some pieces of a Flashman, and I thought, well, maybe we should go after Karita a little bit, see if we can pick up another piece of a Flashman. I think that would kind of be a good idea. Um, although, there's no real places around that are like Two Skull or whatever in like rec in relative like Karitan space. It was really close by that I wanted to jump to. Um, but there is an attack right now going on on at uh, Tukiyid here. And I thought maybe we'd go join it. So Rasselhag forces are 12, uh, Draconis Convoy forces are 15. So we'll go help Rasselhag out. It's one and a half skulls, 19 days away. It's not too, too bad. But I love the description for this, for this uh, planet. This picturesque world offers a multitude of different terrain, with many religious monasteries dotting its surface. Pretty unremarkable, and we will be resigned to be forgotten in the history books. <laughs> Uh huh. It sure will. <laughs> okay, let's just go there. So we had nine days to the end of the month, so that'll put us there at a relatively good time. Uh, like once again, I'm not going to be doing getting the Griffin ready. Let's have a look at the engineering here. See if there's anything we want to get in engineering. Uh, we do want to go here and get our drop size, but it's two two million, uh, which we don't have at the moment. So we're pretty darn close. I'm going to save my money for this. I'm not going to get anything else here. Um, we're still doing pretty good, I think, here. Uh, so let's keep moving. Um, oh yeah, man, we're gonna. I'll watch. I'll watch the uh, stuff with you. Sturm has gained the following tags: drunk, really, increased stability chance, but avoid panic. Of really, plus we plus one OP accuracy. How is that? All right. Well, great. Wonderful. That's all we need for our heavy mech pilot to take additional stability damage. Isn't that wonderful? I should have said no. Over financials whenever you are. All right, seven hundred thousand. Not too bad. It's the Holopolis. It's a bit pricey, but that's fine. Um, Ten days to Tuki it. All right, so I'm going to look for some. I mean, I know it's a one and a half skull planet, but. Gonna try for some two two and a half skull missions if we can get them, but let's see what this what the missions hold. Like if we decide to join in the fighting, I think there's a way we can just click and say, "Yeah, let's be a part of the fighting." Like we've arrived, Commander. Uh, currently under control by Karita. We'll attack it soon. Good enough reputation with one or both factions. They may have a contract to sign. Yeah, sure. We should be able to get from get contracts from Rasselhag, which is what we want. See what it does here. So, flare up, raid planet, one and a half skulls. So, I think we just have to take the missions that they give us. Well, there's a few missions here that are for Karita, but nothing for Rasselhag except for this. So, let's just go this way and see what ends up happening. So, if we start, I think I've done one of these in an offline play. We got a rate concave contract notification in one day, so we'll wait for the day. Actually, let's check our pilots real quick before we do that. So we can just drop straight in. Alright, so you're slowly gaining XP. Waiting for orders. You're Standing still sitting by. on the sidelines. Killjoy, we definitely want gunnery on. So we're gonna take that. Training complete. Commander? Monsieur Le Mothman. Uh do we wanna go no, we're gonna wait for gunnery on you. What no? You're good. Standing by. And Sturm, we were waiting for gunnery. So we'll take that. Training confirmed, Commander. And then taser face. We're waiting for gunnery. We'll take that. Thank you. Mech Thank you very much. I think we'll wait for gunnery again and go straight up the gunnery line. Although Phantom Mech would kind of be nice. Plus two local ECM and minus fifty percent visibility for two turns. Has a three turn cooldown, so it's like one turn they can see you, and then two turns they can't. I'm wondering if we wait and take that. I think that would be way more helpful, especially in a fast lighter mech than uh, than the ad additional chance to hit here, gaining our accuracy and stuff. I think it's just better to go for this. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. I think we'll wait and save up for the for the piloting. Okay, so uh, we'll wait the day, and then we should get a contract. Uh, trap sprung. Details will be provided on route. Yeah, okay, that's uh, 
Come on in. That doesn't sound shifty in any way, although the payout's pretty damn good. I can always rely on my Rassel Hag brothers to to flip me some coins. It's a three skull battle in the lowlands. Well, we're here now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I know we're in trouble. Command interface. All right, this is meant to be a trap, so let's, uh... Heavy mech sporting Korean colors. Let's find out where that heavy mech is. Up on the hill here. All right, what's our terrain? First thing. First things first, always look at your terrain. All right, we got lots of places to hide. So the enemy reinforcements are probably here. And we got our main guy there. It's quiet, quiet, quiet. So it's probably one lance of reinforcements. Most likely medium to heavies. Alright, let's um That's a little bit of rough terrain there. Let's not get Hmm, I wanna get up behind this guy, but I don't wanna Well If the enemy is here. Then maybe we, yeah, we got movement, room to maneuver here. Maybe we drop in like right here. Uh, let's attempt to do that again. A couple of these spots look like they're iffy here. So let's alt uh, drop. I don't want to spend my first turn moving off of a rough piece of terrain. There we go. That should be... Oh, great, our backs to the enemy. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? All right, let's see what we got. Come on, figure it out. There you go. All right, people, let's uh, get up here. Actually, let's stay in the trees if we can. Enemy contact. A white. Well, that's going to be nice and hard to hit, isn't it? Griffin, or Wolverine. I don't know why I keep calling you a Griffin. Uh, let's not get too close. Get into here. I know we're not in the trees, but it's fine. You, on the other hand, let's let them know we're coming. Uh, I'm going to put you... I think I'm going to try and run this guy. I know I, I kind of move forward a lot with this Cloudbuster, and I really shouldn't. I'm going to try and remember to keep him back a little more. Although you... Uh, we got to go through trees, so we're going to have shit movement, so... I want to get you up there with the turkey, Affirm. but I don't know. Alright, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. We'll take it. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. So this said three skulls, but I'm seeing a locust and a white, so maybe it is tech... Because it's the pla The planet's one and a half skulls. The mission start said one and a half skulls. So I don't really know what kind of defense we should be looking at here. Seeing these two mechs, I would ass I'm assuming one and a half, but I'm, I'm kind of really hoping it's three. Well, this guy's got damaged CT already. Not good for you. If I get lucky here, it's really definitely not good for you. I'll drop some sensors because I don't think this battle's going to go on too long. I don't think it's going to go on too long, although I probably should have dropped the sensors on the other guy. Mongoose, yeah, I don't think we got, uh... Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this battle goes quick and we take another one right afterwards. Somebody's got a PPC, eh? Alright. Yes, Commander. Command interface. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Commander. We get we can get a shot in the white from over here, so let's do that. Got it. I want this guy gone before I engage the other mechs. Otherwise, he's going to be doing back attacks. That's actually not that bad. I thought the white had a uh, electronic warfare suite or something, but yeah, it looks like those all hit. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. Commander. Uh, you're going to reserve. 
I want to put the howitzer on this guy first, and then we'll see what to do. See where we're going to attack him from. Uh, direct fire mode. I, it's not really giving me a difference in... Um, I'm going to go this route because most likely we won't hit the arm with it, but you never know. And then fire. Locked on. Nope. Okay, you're going to side attack. That hit something good. Cephalus will side attack. Actually, you know what? Cephalus isn't even going to bother with that guy. I'm here. There's no real point. Let's try to go for the finishing shot here. Put a couple rounds into his side, then we'll put some AC into him. Some ultra AC, that is. He's got no weapons left. Confirmed. Oh, come on. This game's rigged. That's what I say. Hey. So I'm recording this episode directly after the last one, so I haven't been able to read any comments about the uh, the idea of doing the um, single player or single uh, playthrough with the assassin. If you haven't seen the last episode, go back and, and watch it. My comments are at the end about the, the that playthrough, but yeah, I haven't read any of those yet, so I have no idea what's uh, what you guys are thinking about it. I hope oh you man! You didn't expect that. Still there. Orders. Don't really care though. Mm, yeah, let's finish him. Finish him. On my way. Double time. You got no support if we move out against the other guys right now, so. Roll to that. Well, at least we got a knockdown. Come on, bail out. Alright, you hang in there, buddy. Just not having a good day. Fail. Fail. Yep. I hope it's just not these two. Because then we would have gotten like super, Commander? super lucky. On the draw for this mission. Like I can't see it just being these two. I mean, sometimes you get real lucky and sometimes you don't, like, you know, if you guys have been watching the series as, as it's been going along, you know earlier on, we didn't get lucky. <laughs> the half skull mission with like three lances. Okay, Daimyo. That's like, what, 35 tons though? Nice shot. Props to you, my friend. Props to you. 40 tons. Let's just push forward. No shooting, just running. Got it. See if we can give him Roger. tit for tat here. Nope. Not today. That's all right. Oh, we got another guy back there. Commander. If I had to guess, it looked like it was a panther. Um. Yeah, I just start by going down here. It looked like it was a panther. Joke, 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 joke. Standing by. All right, get up here. I am the wind. All right. I'm here. Let's follow the Ceph- Well, uh, you can't. You are a hover unit and do not have the ability to follow that mech. So go this way. I love that though. I love the idea that the vehicles just can't go where the mechs go. Yep. Especially hover vehicles, like you're limited to where you can actually go. I Such can't. a brilliant, um, brilliant dynamic. Indirect. And let's go after whoever's the easiest to hit. 12, 10, 12, 6, 12, 10. Oh, there's only two. All right, well, looks like you're going to take it. For a total of nine points. We got this shit.
cephalus is to like I want to call the cephalus a light mech hunter but it really isn't it really is a medium mech hunter uh, let's reserve you receiving you if I was going up against medium boys or something like that then I probably would move you up and just hide you but we're not so you can probably get a kill on one of these guys if we don't here or at least finish somebody off for us nothing wow all right. Aye, aye. Moving out. Stay in the trees. Let's get the locust eyes off us if we can. Firing all weapons. All right, medium laser hit. With a locust, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anything's gonna pen pretty much, unless you're running smalls. Whose turn is it? Twelve. Mongoose. So what are you running? A streak two, some mediums, and a small. That's actually a pretty good loadout. Like that's a nice backstabber. Light mech backstabber. Doesn't really have the speed or armor to be anything else. Yeah, it is a panther. 10k. What's the 10k? Commander. It's the ERPPC SRM4 one, right? See, I learned from the that one episode where we had, were fighting those guys. I kind of remember that. Because we faced the 12 whatever it was. 12 ZTX whatever with the MRMs instead of the uh, um, yeah instead of the SRM4s so and an extra ton of armor. So it might be nice if we can get a Panther. Then I think I would just sell that quick sell uh, or this guy even. I would sell the quick sell um, commando and Put that, uh, that panther into play. I'm ready. I kind of like the panthers. I don't know what it is about them, Rolling. but they're pretty solid mech. Like it's a 35 ton mech that's trying to be a medium mech, but it's just kind of failing. But still, I I, I do like it because if you're playing like a light playthrough, the panther would be your firepower mech. It. I think. Missing the dark no. Or it could be your firepower mech. Let's not let that guy see us. And let's not be in the trees so we can actually get a oh little better boy. chance to hit. Here we, go. Here we go. Let's give it to him then. Maybe things are looking up. Well, maybe they are. Yes, Commander. Oop, we got direct line of sight now. Now, so indirect and di oh, I see. So the farther away it is, the harder it is to hit directly, but I can lob it over. Makes sense. All right. Roger. All right. God, for 75 tons, this mech is like it's sitting with the right lance. Let me just say that. It's nice to be able to, like, if I have to, use it as a meat shield. But it's not like one of those 75 tonners that's, like, so overpowered that it just lines up on somebody and, and obliterates them. I mean, if it hit with everything, it would do a really good job of doing, getting, like, outlaying some damage, but... Standing by. It doesn't. So, <laughs> it's a Halopolis. Get over here. All right, let's get some shots on this guy here. Ah, uh, Ultra's jammed. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Nice. I'm often shocked at how good, like for, you know, these little tiny mechs and stuff on the board, I'm often shocked at how really good all the animation is, you know? Like you watch that missile follow, like, follows that path and slams into a leg, right? The programming is actually pretty cool. I'm sure I mentioned this like a long, yes, long time ago, but when I was in college and I was finishing up my uh, video editing course, I was interested in going into 3D animation. So I put a reel in um, for the uh, animation course at Sheridan College. Firing and um, this is back in like 90... 
93, 94, I think it was. And at the time they were accepting 16 students. And there was thousands of people applying from everywhere because 3D was really taking off at the time. So um, I put my reel in and I think it was like 10th on the waiting list or something like that. It was pretty close um, to being on the waiting list. Um, because I had a little bit of experience with 3D stuff, working in uh, Lightwave 3D on the Amiga. Um, you guys probably don't even know what an Amiga. If you, I mean, well, I, sorry, I take that back. I know you guys. Uh, some of you guys are like older, like me, have been like uh, with computers a long time and probably wouldn't know what the Commodore oh, yeah. Amiga is. But yeah, I did my animation on an Amiga with uh, Lightwave. Because um, we had Lightwave because we had a video toaster in the video department. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's go and try and kill this guy. But yeah, I did my animation at Lightwave and stuff. And at that time, I believe, ba I think Babylon 5 had been out for a little while. Um, Babylon 5, the TV series, used uh, Lightwave 3D um, to do all their uh, space scenes. Which was pretty cool. Live to serve. But yeah, it was a definitely a hard program to get into. But I'm kind of glad I didn't get into it because I don't think I could sit there. I, I don't. The weapons. one thing I love about working in video is Double you work on a job. Generally, it's done within a few Order. weeks, and then it's out the door. Sometimes you're working on a bigger project and it lasts a lot longer. But for the for most of the stuff that I do, like even TV spots, sometimes it's only a few days and it's done, right? So. Um, that cephalus is close, but we're gonna take the shot anyway. Got it. Wow, we hit, nice. Hell yeah. Anyway, it's it, it's the short turnaround times, and because I'm like attention deficit, hey. I think if I had gotten a job as a 3D like animator or artist or whatever, probably wouldn't have lasted all that long. I probably would have quit um, not too long into it because I don't think I could tolerate working on a project for as long as sometimes they do you know sometimes it's years right you're working years and years trying to get stuff done and it's like oh we'll do the, we'll do this do a render see if it's working do this do a render no we're going to change this we're going to change that this is changing okay. that's changing i don't think i could have tolerated it you know so i'm kind of glad i stayed with video Which is one of the reasons why I've kind of got an appreciation for how well the 3D stuff is done in games and stuff, you know, it's just, it's shocking how good it is, you know, today compared to what it was back then. Where it was just like a 3D object with like a really shitty texture applied to it and it was like very low polygon and... But today it's like really high poly objects. Confirmed. Well, high, high by old standards. Sometimes it's low by today's standards. But you know, high poly objects, it's amazing like HD texture, and it's getting pretty close to lifelike in some of the situations. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. And even for this, like it's just a, it's just a, you know, a small game. But then you zoom in, and some of the details are actually pretty good on these. I mean, this is relatively low poly I would imagine but some of the details are pretty good the textures are nice you know awaiting orders all right um we cannot get down there let's get down to here though and see if we can take out this way. um Double time. mongoose it's getting a little too close for my liking the damio we can take out at any point let's leave this off nope yeah, we need to get something. We gotta get an optics thing on this uh, Wolverine. The consistently low chance to hit is pretty bad. Did we pick up? I can't remember if we picked up a laser or an energy targeting computer. I don't think we did. It would be nice to drop it in there, though. What's up, buddy? 
to go. Bringing your stre your streaks to an AMS. Streaks to an AMS fight. I guess that's not really correct, is it? Uh, we go for the kill, or we go after this guy. Let's go after this guy. Let's get started on him. A right, little bit of splash damage. What now? What now? Uh, we're gonna drop our recoil. And we're gonna head over to the Panther. Gonna head over to the Panther. Orders. Fifteen percent, huh? Onward. I think you're. I think it's inside the minimum range. Maybe not. Twenty-eight. Thirty percent in this guy, though. Ah, uh, let's see. It's only two percent. Let's see if we can claim this guy here. Yeah, you like this. All right, we got one on. That's not bad. This guy's pretty much done. I think that thing, I think that Damia was originally designed as a battle armor killer, wasn't it? Or am I mistaken? Light damage, Commander. Order. All right, Copy let's, down. uh, let's show them what you do best. See ya. Enemy down. She kills Max the best, that's what she does. In case you're wondering what that was. Ah, uh, we're jammed again, eh? Can we get to Thunderbolt? Minimum there we go. That's a little better. Let's give him a bit of a handshake here. Ah, we missed. Mongoose has been living too long. Can we deal with that please, people? Somebody? Your job's the Panther. Yeah, see, we got to do something about this. We need, we definitely need uh, better optics. Okay, we've got a medium laser on. That's it. Out of SRM. At least you have armor. So that's, that's all I'll say. At least you can take a few hits. Unlike that Griffin that just wasn't enjoying anything. All right, what are you up to? All right. Respectable. I can respect that. Damage minimal. It is. I'm here. Hello, Mr. Panther. Work. Hopefully it's going to be worth a lot. Just give this guy a pasting. Come on, let's hit with the ultra. Okay. There you go. Welcome to the fight, buddy. Bet that hurt. I bet you it did. I'm your spaniel. Okay. I'm going. Not within minimum range, it's good. Let's apply some damage to this guy. I think we only got one hit there. This just in. Critical hit. Aye aye. Sixty-four indirect, let's go with it. Firing on target. That was a miss. It's a big miss, but there goes his uh, PPC. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're probably going to have to kill the freaking mongoose. You know, we're sure as hell not going to be able to do it. Holding off. Should be able to just take a pot shot at this guy, I think. What do we have that's in range? Oh, the medium lasers, really? Let's just fire one to get our speed back. Copy that. Ah, nice. Standing by. You are the hero of this fight. Ah, we're all heroes. Move order confirmed. We're all heroes. Anybody that survives life. And if you don't survive life, then you were a hero up until the point that you did... That you... 
dead yet. You died, I guess. You can survive what life can throw at you. Because let's face it. Life just wants to kill you. <laughs> Everything about this world just wants us dead. Alright, let's hammer this guy. There you go, finally. That one's gone. Shut that guy up. Yeah, you better back up. I'm receiving you. Alright, Mr. Mothman Prophecy, do you think you can hammer this guy? Don't like the fact that we're in trees, but we'll move up here. Got limited turret rotation. We'll take a shot at this guy. That ain't bad. Punching all the buttons. And missing. That's a miss. I can see that. Hey. Okay, let's go. Let's burn through this guy's other side here, or the uh, damage side, and finish him off. Well, wow, I got like no machine gun ammo left already. <laughs> Ton of ammo goes pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, I got him. You did. Mission successful. So there was no that way that was three skulls. Although I gotta say the payout and everything is like three skulls worth of payout. So we must have just got super super lucky with the roll. It's all I can think of. Or maybe it's because we're on a one and a half skull planet. It just got a bit confused. Only one part of the damn yo. It may have just kind of got a bit confused and then was like, Oh yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll drop these for you. Ooh, AMS. Beagle Probe. I wonder if that would help out the Wolverine a bit more. That's a possibility. Three times Endo Steel. That's a pretty sweet get. We wouldn't, oh, okay, that's a no-brainer. Uh, do we want to take this? Double heatsink kit. We definitely need that. Sniper sensors. Let's grab those. SRM Artemis ammo. Because here's the thought. Maybe we grab the um, fire control system Artemis. And the SRM Artemis ammo, and we turn that Shadowhawk into an SRM boat. That's definitely for the wolf for the Wolverine. Let's let's see if we can do that. Cause we're not I mean, we got a double heatsink kit. So I mean I guess we could go laser boat on the Griffin, but I think if we take out the ammo. Or, sorry, take out the um, weapons from the arms. We can use them as shields to absorb damage. I'm not worried about being shot at the side too much then. Yeah, let's try that. Let's go this route. All right, Damio part, three mongoose parts. Panther part, that's kind of good. We can probably put one of those together soon enough. Three small lasers. Do we have any? We got six, so we can just get rid of those. Beagle Pro, perfect. Compact engine. 50% increase in weight, but it makes the engine smaller so that you can fit more in the CT. I guess that's great if you've got like a couple of like laser hard points in the center torso, but you want to put a bigger laser or something in there or a couple of bigger lasers. You could sh shrink it down and lose your weight. That might work better on like a, like a lighter mech or something. I, I don't know, but I'm going to sell that because I don't think... I don't like the fact that it increases the weight. I don't think I would sacrifice weight just to have stuff in the, like, more stuff in the CT. Maybe I'm wrong. Comment section if you guys think that, that maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I think that's I think that's probably a better uh, better choice. I'm going to keep the SRM ammo from that for now. So SRM counter missile ammo. I got to read up on how this is how this works. I'm going to keep it. I know if you drop it in, like, do you have to have your SRMs on, 
like an AMS mode or something? I don't understand. Or does it fire automatically? I don't quite get how that works. Like if it's loaded in, like let's, let's say you have two SRM6s, one has got Artemis and the second one's loaded with SRM counter missile. Does it just not fire the SRMs, but then will only fire the SRM if it's being shot at by missiles? Is that how it works? It, se it almost seems like a waste, but at the same time, I guess it isn't, because then you don't have to carry an AMS. So if you're not being shot at by missiles, you're not wasting your tonnage. But if someone decides to shoot at you by missiles, you can switch your SRMs over to anti-missile ammo and use it as an AMS as a backup. Kind of makes sense. I'm going to keep it and see. I don't know. It kind of makes sense. The more AMS ammo is, is good too, because we keep running out in the... Uh, on the hunchback. Alright. A little bit of repair. So before we leave today, I want to go ahead and get yo and yo. So five days for repairs. I'm going to bring back the Wolverine. Yeah, you're welcome. Karita doesn't like us, but ooh, um, I can't, I got to pass on this one because I can't do that at the moment. It happens too quickly. I mean, if you've got more, if you got more mechs, I'm assuming it would be Job easier done. to do. But we don't. So, all right. Um, let's upgrade. Where are you here? The Wolverine for sure. I know I said we were gonna try and go for the uh, the Leopard, but we're not quite there yet. So, let's go ahead and put in. Um, where are you here? This guy. And then let's put in... Did we get those sensors? We did not. We got range sensors. Do we want to do that and increase our range for the medium lasers on this guy? I mean, it's only 10%, so it's only like, what, 36 meters? Yeah. Bring in our range to about 400 meters. I don't know. I think that might be better on the Griffin if we're going all SRMs. So let's confirm this. And then before we leave today, I want to quickly right. take a look. I'll get it in the schedule. I'm interested to see if we can get this as an SRM boat here. I don't know how much we've got for that, but uh, let's repair all. Strips all that stuff off. So we need to put... Like, we would have to go with a lighter engine. That's the thing. We want this for sure. We want to put in this for sure. I think I want to keep the combat shotgun. It really is our big weapon at the moment. Uh, we got a PPC capacitor as well. So if we put in, we had a 240 before. If we put the 240 back in, what are we looking at? Seven tons remaining. Doesn't give us much. So if we go this route, Remove the headshot and put in... Oh, I have to remove this out of there. Put the Guardian in the CT. Put that there. So we got six tons left. It's not a lot. What's our speed, though? Six, nine. I mean, we could drop it... Sl ah, we need the speed, though. Um... Uh, Go that route with that for now. So what, I mean, if we had clan SRMs, it would definitely be the way to go, I think. We've only got a pair of SRM4s. So I'm going Artemis. It would be five tons of, for eight SRMs. I think it's probably not the way to go then. It's probably not the way to go. We just leave the fire control system standard clan. I mean, we, you know what? Let's go back with the headshot system. Where is it here? We'll leave the headshot system in. Uh, because I'm interested to see how we could do with that. And then let's just go... We've got the medium Rex laser in the arm. We leave that in there. And then we go... Like that. This is giving us extra range for everything, right? 10% more. 
So that's our main weapon there then. Medium heavy pirate laser. How much heat? 20 heat. 350 meters though. Recoil of 1, which is not so bad. Misfire chance, 10%. Huh. Medium pulse lasers. I mean, it's going to increase our chance to hit, but not do a lot of damage. And doesn't quite have the range. Drop. Can we get the bolt on rockets in there? We can. Oh, so for some reason it dropped the combat shotgun. Although chaff countermeasures might be an idea. Just to stop people from hitting us. What's our heat at right now? So we could probably squeeze another medium laser in there, or we could go with a missile launcher. Although I'm kind of shy, I'm shying away from anything that can explode at the moment <laughs> with this guy. So maybe we leave the ammo off it. Um, <laughs> it's probably a better option. Although I mean, we could I guess we could put a couple of rocket packs on there, get that burst damage in, so if we can get behind somebody, we can hammer them. But right now, this thing's kind of like a discount Wolverine. The big benefit is the combat shotgun, and we want to get close to be able to use that. Or we could... What if we go with... Um, where's the 250 core? Is that going to give us anything more than what we've already got? That's the question. Not really. It's still 6.9. Although we could drop the double heat sink. So, I mean... The only advantage advance that this is giving us over the 240 uh, is that like a little bit I mean a little bit more top speed because this the game calculates per hex so we might be able to squeak a little bit more speed out of it but not much we could up the armor slightly I mean the legs yeah it's armor's not the issue though Do we want to swap out a medium for a large? Still pretty good heat. This gives us some, some range. So this guy would really definitely be a discount Wolverine. We still got the fire control system headshot. So if we wanted to run in and take a pot shot at somebody's head... Especially if they were unstable and hadn't, like, in, and aren't moving, because now we got the artillery, we can make people unstable and then dart in and try for a headshot. I think that's what we go with. I mean, we could. Can we get the light engine in there as well? What are we looking at? Five hundred thousand now. Not that bad. If we drop another double heat sink in, and then what? Like if we drop a second double heat sink, we'd have to drop armor or increase armor to balance out the half ton. So I think I would probably increase it, right? And then a couple points here, a couple points here, right? That gives us a little bit of space left. We got a small laser, which we could probably stick in the CT. And then what? One ton left. It would be, per be perfect if we had a tag. But we don't. Do we have anything interesting sitting in here that we might be able to use? I mean, we could put a jump jet for a bit of mobility. Oh, the Beagle Probe. That's what? One and a half? Let's throw you back in the head. Put the Beagle Probe in the CT. Let's go that route. I mean, it's not, the loadout isn't that great. So we got, what, 40, 90, and then, what, 35, 45? So 135 damage. I guess that's not that bad. 135. Sure, we got a little bit more evasion. 
you know, we still got the Guardian ECM as long as we don't stand still. A little bit of extra range. Combat shotgun. I'm really tempted to pull that off of this. But I think this thing needs that boost of uh, boost of damage. Huh, I love the description. Combat shotgun. Can opener. Sure is. Alright, we're going to go that route. Let's validate that. We'll just do it. Because why not? Alright, now, Should at this smart. point, from this point on, we'll get the Wolverine back. We've got the next raid for the next episode. This point on, we're just going to save our money. I know I've said this before, but we're just going to save our money and we're just going to go for the... Um, the dropship at this point. I think we have to do that. Now that the Griffin will be back, right, what we'll end up doing is probably something like this where the Hunchback and the um, the Helopolis will swap back and forth and then we run with this, this loadout here and the two vehicles. So that should put us up to at least three skull combat, I think. Probably... With the Hunchback in, it's probably going to be like two and a half, two. But then with the uh, Helopolis, we're probably into three, maybe. So we'll see how it goes. But that's the goal anyway. Um, but for now, we'll just pull these back to where they where they were. All right, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.